Hey, my name is Phil with softwarepilot.io. In today's video, we're going to be looking at a video hosting and streaming platform called Gumlet. Now in this Gumlet review, I wanna show you what Gumlet is, how it works, and by the end of this video, you should know if it's right for you. And if you are thinking about getting Gumlet, they are currently having a lifetime deal. So if you wanna get Gumlet at just a one-time price, I'll leave a link down in the description and you'll also be helping support the channel. Okay, so first of all, what is Gumlet? Well, it is the perfect alternative to a platform like Vimeo or Wistia, and basically what this allows you to do is host your own videos, you get to stream them at incredible speeds, and the best part about it is these videos are now protected when you upload them to the internet. Now, this is perfect if you are a course creator, if you host your own news type website, because not only do you protect your content, but it loads at incredible speeds, so no matter what resolution your video is in it's going to be easily accessible for your audience so what I'm going to do right now is show you all about Gumlet and how this actually works so just a few things we'll go through first just so you understand how Gumlet works if you scroll down on their homepage, you will notice they have reliable hosting remarkable streaming and they have a bunch of CDNs around the world which pretty much guarantees 99.95 percent uptime which is amazing you also get a CMS, which is a content management system, so you can organize your files, your folders, and your collections. Perfect for things like courses, if you create multiple courses. You can also choose where you want your videos to be published. You can also have a look at analytics. You can even automate your videos. So there's a bunch of good information on their website, but what I'm gonna show you, because it's probably most important in your eyes, is their pricing. So if you are paying the regular price, uh, they have a lifetime deal right now, but it is not going to last forever. It's an incredible deal. So they've got two lots of plans, annual and monthly. If you're on the starter plan, you get 1500 storage minutes. So that is a lot of time if you divide that up into hours. So perfect if you have one or two or even three courses, this is gonna be more than enough. And then if you go to the growth plan, this is where you're gonna get the advanced video analytics and the API access as well. So that's pretty cool, but let's quickly have a look at their lifetime deal. They've just launched on AppSumo and they're already getting so much traction. As you can see, they've got 45 reviews, which is almost a complete five taco, which is almost the best rating you can get. And if you come right down here, there's already a bit of a give there, but we have five different plans inside of here, license one to five, and each gives you a different allowance inside of your plan terms, right? So if you want a thousand minutes of video storage, you can just pay $49 one time, and this is going to be yours forever. Of course, the more you want is uh, it's going to go up in price. But for me personally, I believe around tier three is going to be the sweet spot if you are a course creator. That's 6,000 minutes of video storage. You also get two terabytes of a streaming for per month which is pretty incredible and of course you get the 10 hd resolution one thing i found out quite quickly as well if you want to have multiple collections so this could be if you host multiple brands or if you host multiple courses you want to have more collections so if you have say three brands you want to go to the tier two plan as it has five video collections or channels inside of it so that's pretty much the AppSumo deal. I'll let you go and once again, click down below, have a look around it, but let's go ahead and get into the platform and see how it works. So this is my Gumlet dashboard. This is just on the tier one, so I can actually show you how it works. I think I'm going to probably upgrade to the tier three, just because I'm probably gonna use this for all of my courses moving forward, and I'll show you why in just a second. But on the dashboard here, you can see how your streaming has been going for the past two weeks. It's pretty good. You can see I've just been playing around with it. And the good thing about this platform is it's so simple to use so you don't actually get lost. Now, there's two main tabs inside of here which you'll probably spend a lot of time in. The first is the video. This is where you can organize all of your videos, upload videos, things like that. If you are uh, running multiple brands, like I mentioned before, you have what's called the collections. This is where you can separate all of your different files and videos. Um, you can also determine what gets played on what websites, things like that. So this is pretty cool. We'll go into this soon. We also have profiles. This is more about your player. So you get to actually choose how you want it to look, what resolutions you want it to run. You can also choose which advertising parts you want as well. You can choose import videos. There's also usage analytics, so you can see how your monthly quota is going. We also have monitoring, and then finally, video analytics. Now, video analytics is kind of technical, and to be honest, I haven't 
actually dug deep into it just yet. So I am going to miss out video analytics for this video. However, you will understand once you get into it uh, how easy it actually is to use. There's use cases for multiple people. So if you were to get started, this is how I would approach Gumlet, right? First of all, you want to come to Video CMS. Inside of here is where you can add in collections and also upload different videos. So I would first come to Add Collection and up the top here, I would name this, let's just say Software Pilot, okay? And we've got a few options for collection origin type. If you have your videos hosted in places like Amazon S3 buckets or Digital Ocean buckets, you can choose those. Majority of people are just probably going to leave it as a web folder. This means you can upload it into Gumlet and it's going to host them for you. Next thing is you want to type in a website where all of your content is usually going to be added. This helps Gumlet know where you want your webs, uh, your videos to be shown. So I'll put softwarepilot.io. We've got a default video profile. Majority of the time it's going to start on the default. So I'll start there so I can show you how it works. And then also the property insights. You can change these later, by the way. So just leave them as default for now. And then we can change them a little bit later. So go ahead, click on create collection and it's going to start one up for you. Next, you will see we have our demo collection and we've also got software pilot, the one I've just created. So I'm gonna go ahead into my new folder. And this is where we can actually start customizing things. So at the top here, we've got player settings. This is where you can start customizing it towards your brand. So if you wanted to choose, say, a default color for your player, you can go ahead and choose it in here. So let's just say I'm going to choose a bit of a green. Uh, I haven't got my color code on me right now, but this will do for now. We also have the option for auto playing. So if someone arrives on your website, do you want the video to start playing as soon as it loads? Or do you want people to play it? Press the play button. Next, we've got dynamic watermarks. We've got seek bars. You can also disable the player controls. Perfect if you're creating some sort of uh, VSL or videos like that where you're trying to sell people and you want them to actually see the whole video. We then have allowed DRM protected videos. This is digital rights management. Basically, this means uh, it's going to make sure that your videos are protected. This is a very good one to have checked on. And then below that, we have powered by Gumlet. Most of the time, you're going to want to turn that off. Now, if we come down, we also have heights and things like that. And if you are a Facebook marketer, you can add in your pixel ID here. So you can see how many people watched certain parts of the video, and then you can retarget them based on that. So there's lots of different options. I'm just going to come and click on save changes here, and that's going to get saved like so and if i go back into it one more time you'll also see there is channel settings i'm not going to play with that just yet but we do have down here video protection this allows you to have signed urls to secure your content so go ahead turn that on it'll be generated by itself once you save it like so right i'm going to have to delete this demo afterwards um, but that's now been added uh, as you can see here so we've got the key and now we're basically good to go if you want to delete your channel you can also do that here as well so now we have created our new collection if you come back to video cms you can see at the top here we've got the demo collection and we've also got software pilot but it does go another level deep so let's just say you wanted to add some folders inside of it let's click on add folder on the right let's say this one is course one Okay, and click on save changes. And then we've got a folder here, which you can quickly go between and store the assets for that particular folder. So it's pretty cool. You can add as many as you want, I believe. So I'll just add another one to give you an idea of how it looks. So it looks pretty good. Now, the big question people are probably wondering is how fast does this actually go? So what I'm gonna do is quickly upload a video. So I'll say process new video right and it's going to say which profile do you want i'm just going to leave it on the default one for now once again click on next and upload the video so i'll quickly just upload this all right so i added in my last video which was actually a sumo day video so i'll go ahead and press done now if i come back to my video cms okay go to uh, software pilot you can see down here it is currently processing so what i'm going to do is just wait a few minutes and see how long this takes to actually process. Okay, so that is done. Now it is a 250-ish megabyte video and it took about a minute and a half to process. 
So that's been all done, it's all ready to go. So what I'm gonna do is, you can see there's some options on the right, you can share the URL, copy the playback URL or copy the embed code. You also have the option to move folders, things like that. But what I'm gonna do is get this embed code. I have got a test page here uh, inside of my website. I'm just gonna paste the code in using an HTML. I'm gonna go ahead, click on publish, and then what I'm gonna do is load this page for the first time, and let's see how fast this actually loads. So I'll go ahead and have a look. Right, so this page is up, click on play, and it's going, it's instant, right? Pretty incredible considering it's a 250 meg video, and it's already going. So let's fast forward it, you can see absolutely instant, it's incredible. Now, I guess the big question everyone wants to know is what, is what about uh, big videos? So in the demo collection by default, they have a video here, which if I go to, if I actually click on it, it's gonna give you some more details. So I'll just click on this button down below. You can see this one is 674 megabytes. So it's pretty big. It's a 4K video. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and embed that on this same page and let's see how fast this takes to load, okay? So I'll go ahead, click on update. I'll go ahead and refresh this page. And keep in mind, this is now going to be a 4K video as my ones are usually about 1080p. So if I click on play now, boom. Now let's make sure the resolution is up there, right? So it's on 4K. But you can see it isn't lagging at all. It is absolutely streaming perfectly and it's an extremely high resolution. So for me, this is probably one of the biggest selling points, right? You can have on-demand video playback because I know I've had a lot of people recently saying, hey, your videos are taking a little while to load. Well, guess what? This is going to fix that issue. It's going to make video on demand with a click of a button. And my internet right now isn't that fast. I'm currently in Asia in a bit of a remote place. So I'm pretty impressed to, to see it's actually loading this quickly, especially this 4K video. Absolutely incredible. So that is probably the most important parts of Gumlet. If we go back in the dashboard, you can also see they do images. So if you wanna add images in here, you can do that also. We have down here video analytics. Now, if you are someone that has a little bit of tech background, you could probably figure this out. I've had a quick look and at the time it was a little bit too much to digest. Luckily they have good documentation of how to actually use all this. You can see the detailed instructions down below. Plus you can also check your integration. So if you wanna come inside here, I think it's HLS that you use for your websites. Anyway, I'm not gonna lead you astray. But once you have that, if we go onto the AppSumo deal, this is where you can see the type of analytics that it will actually provide, things like this, where you can see how your unique users and how much they watch and things like that as well. So I can't give you that information right now because I haven't done it personally, but this is something I'm going to be looking at once I upgrade my plan. And so that is pretty much Gumlet. It's a very fast hosting platform for your videos, plus it also has that privacy element to make sure your videos stay safe. And the best part about it, once again, they are having a lifetime deal, which is very incredible. Once again, I'll link to that down in the description. But that is my Gumlet review. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you smash that thumbs up button. If you haven't yet, make sure you hit subscribe. And if you have any questions, let me know down in the comments. I am going to be sharing this with the Gumlet team. So hopefully they keep an eye on it and they can message you either directly there or you can reach out to them on their support. But that's it for all this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I look forward to seeing you on the next one.